Top 10 Reasons Claims Get Denied. Sylvia Browdy here, small business consultant, licensed claims adjuster, field inspector, and advocate for startup service-based businesses. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for all things small business. Let's get into it. A property claim can be denied for several reasons, often due to the terms and conditions of the insurance policy. Here are some common causes of a denial. Number one, excluded perils. The damage was caused by a peril not covered by the policy, such as floods, earthquakes, unless specific endorsements are in place. Number two, policy exclusions. Exclusions like mold, gradual seepage, or faulty workmanship often lead to denials if they apply to the damage. Number three, policy lapse. Coverage may be denied if the policy was inactive at the time of the loss due to non-payment or expiration. Number four, failure to mitigate damages. If the insurer did not take reasonable steps to prevent further damage, such as tarping a roof after a storm, then the claim could be partially or fully denied. Number five, pre-existing damage. Claims for damage that existed before the policy start date or inspection are not covered. Number six, lack of proof or documentation. Without sufficient evidence of the loss, such as receipts, photos, or a detailed inventory, the claim may be denied. Number seven, fraud or misrepresentation. Any false information provided during the claim process can lead to a denial or even cancellation of the policy. Number eight, unreported damage. Claims must be typically be reported within a specific time frame. Delays in reporting can result in a denial. Number nine, policy limits and deductibles. If the cost of repairs falls below the deductible or exceeds the policy limits, coverage may not apply. And number 10, non-compliance with policy conditions. Failure to meet policy conditions like allowing inspections or providing necessary documents can result in a denial. Understanding these reasons help adjusters explain denials clearly and helps insureds avoid common pitfalls when filing claims. Let me know if this video was helpful. Do you have any questions? If so, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you.